In this scenario, you will see how to quickly integrate Eloqua with Siebel using Put It Forward. After logging into Siebel, we'll create a new contact record. Enter the required fields such as first name, last name and email address. Then click Add and Go. Switching to Eloqua, we'll look for the specific contact we just created in Siebel. Now let's go over to Put It Forward and quickly connect both applications. First, add a new connection. Name it and let's leave it at the default of real-time integration. Select Create to create the connection. You'll notice the connection just created in the Connections tab. Now click on the Designer icon to create the connection and map the data. Select the source type, your available systems, then click Next. Enter in the properties needed to access the system. It's important to note that you will only be able to access the data that is configured in the source or target system for you to see. In real time, the user is authenticated. This user is only allowed to see contact data. Selecting the properties allows you to see all the fields this user has access to. Here you can add or remove fields at any time within your integration. Using Intel Assist, type in the first few characters of the data fields you want. Then check the box beside it. First name, last name, email address. Repeat this for the other fields you'd like to integrate. There is no limit on the number of fields you can connect. Select Save. This saves the field selection. Select Next to move on and choose the destination system, Eloqua in this case. Now enter your information for Eloqua. In real time, Eloqua returns the data types that this user can access, including custom objects. The contact object is selected. Now let's choose the fields. First name, last name, email address, then save. Choosing the ID property in the Eloqua connector allows you to determine the key field to index on. Select Next. Now you will see the data mapping screen where fields can be linked to one another and business rules applied to the data. Let's clear the confirmation message and move on to one of the data mapping options. Select Designer, then choose Columns. This gives you a columnar list of all the fields you've chosen to integrate. Here you can select Map All, which will auto map the fields together. This is very useful when you have lots of fields to work with, or in this example, we'll just manually match them up. Select Close and you can see the fields map to one another. Select Connections, then click on the arrow icon to turn the integration on. Notice the active state changes to True. Now your integration is running. Let's check it. Select the Search tab. This will show you all your integrations running and their status. You can also choose to look at ones that have already executed. You can now choose any record process or search for a specific one while validating the data. This is good for data quality checks. Now let's go back over to Eloqua to see what's happened. Enter the specific data to search for, in this case, test name 1. You'll see the integration was successful. This concludes this short demo of Put It Forward.